Hey everyone, this is Chef Dennis from A Fresh Endeavor, Chef Demic Chef, and we're going to be doing another holiday side dish. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to take butternut squash and we're going to cut them and roast them, and it's going to go with some butter. I have some dried cranberries that I put a little bit of water into and put them in the microwave for about a minute and a half just to soften them up. We also are going to be garnishing with pomegranates and using some pomegranate syrup, some maple syrup, and it's also going to have some pumpkin pie spice to season it and we'll add a little bit more cinnamon if we need to. It's all about flavor. So we're going to start with this now. I'm taking the butternut squash, cutting them in half. I want to cut them into the right size so they all roast evenly. My coffee. Oh, it should say flat white. So we are going to start cutting. I just decided to cut that into fifths. You do it by eye. And because if you if you decide you're going to cut and it's going to, everything is going to have to be exactly the same way, you then that way you're not adjusting for different sizes of things. So we're going to start with that. Those are not perfect, but they're close. There's a couple ways to do this. This is I could go 4, but I want to go 5. So odd numbers like that, you have to cut a piece out of the middle. And it has to be about the same size as the others. And then, then you can take the other ones and cut those in half, and that gives you five. Or you can do it by eye. I usually do it by eye, but I did it this way just to, just to show you how to do it. So odd numbers, you have to even numbers. You can cut in half, cut in half again odd numbers you have to cut the piece out of the middle. No, I don't like the look of that one. I don't know why. But that one's coming out. Again, piece out of the middle. Cut those the rest in half. And that's all I'm going to use. I'm going to save these other ones for another dish. Because I'm going to be doing several things. So this pan here, that's what it does. It's done as far as cutting goes. I'm taking some salt and adding it to it. Avocado oil. Drizzle some over the top. That's how I like to roast my butternut squash and I'm not even adding anything else to it now because if I want to add the cinnamon and other things I will add it about halfway through I don't want my cinnamon to burn so that's where we are right now this is going into the oven and it's probably going to take usually it takes about 40 45 minutes we will see okay I'm back now we have the butternut squash out of the oven. This took about 40, 45 minutes. And it's soft. I like it to be soft, but I don't want it to be mush. So that's how I take it out right there. Now I'm going to add some of the cranberries to it. I'll add as many as I need where I think it looks right. I'm going to add more than that. I started out with about two ounces the cranberries in here and soak them, put them in the microwave. I'm using about an ounce and a half of those. So I've got that. Pumpkin pie spice. I'm going to add a little bit of that now. I told you I didn't add it earlier because I didn't want it to, I didn't want it to burn. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to get some lemon juice on this. I'm just going to squeeze it. Make sure that I catch any seeds. You can use a citrus squeezer if you'd like. There you go. Lemon juice. I'm just using juice from half a lemon. I'm going to put this off to the side. And we're going to get some pomegranate seeds. Lovely 
pomegranate seeds. Who doesn't like pomegranate seeds? Come on. So we're going to add a few of these to it. I'm not going to add them all. But just for the flavor, the crunchiness, the color. And these will not go to waste, the rest of them. We will eat these like crazy because we love them. A little difficult to peel to get it to get it out there. But you have to work a little bit at it, but it's worth it. Okay. That's about all I want for this amount. Now if I was doing this for say Thanksgiving or over the holidays, Christmas or yeah, doing them for a party, I would probably make about three, four times this amount. But the other thing I'm just going to add a tiny bit of is some pomegranate molasses. I'm not going to add a lot because I don't want it to get too sweet. But I like to add some to this. flavor is wonderful. There is a sharpness to it. It's not just all sicky sweet like a lot of things are. I'm going to add the rest of the lemon juice. And then we're going to taste it. Mmm. That's nice. It could use a little more salt. and just a touch of maple syrup. I guess I guess suppose that's more than a touch, but still. I love maple syrup. This makes a great side dish during the holidays. Very, very good. Okay, so we've got the roast butternut squash, dried cranberries, pumpkin pie spice, fresh pomegranate seed. It also has a tiny bit of maple syrup, juice of one lemon, touch of salt. I think that's it. You could add more pomegranate seeds if you want. I'm going to add a few on top. And we're going to touch it off with a tiny bit more pomegranate syrup. And I pour it in the cap because I do not want it to be too much of it. Just want a little bit over the top so that people who are tasting it can taste that by itself rather than mixing everything in completely. So there you go. It's a nice side dish, great for the holidays, beautiful for Christmas, for any other holidays you're celebrating, or just because. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll get notified anytime we upload a video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.